Over at Onset Pass, we are excited to announce that we are hosting our first ever editing contest. And this video will serve as the official visual uh, layout of how this contest is gonna go from the official rules, the judging criteria, the prizes, and how you can submit. So please watch this video in its entirety if you're interested in participating in our upcoming editing contest. All right, so let's kick this thing off. To give some additional context, my team at Tropicolor and Onset Pass essentially launched a brand new Tropicolor Space Shuttle SSD. You may see, you may have seen some of this imagery already on our social media platform, but essentially we spent two days capturing a bunch of red footage and a bunch of phone content footage surrounding the release of our solid state drive. And that was kind of when the light bulb moment kind of happened for us because we got some really, really cool footage. I mean, from warp speeds, shots using a TV and a makeshift volume, a uh, spaceship set, an artificial moon set. Um, you know, we've also got, uh, in concurrent with all this red footage, a ton of phone videos and short form content for social media. So this is kind of how we're doing this editing contest. We've compiled all the best selects, you know, kind of in and out blade tooled the best moments of all the red clips we shot over two days. And we've done the same for all of the phone videos, the vertical nine by 16 phone videos behind the scenes of the same content, right? So there's two kind of buckets or folders of footage. And what we wanna do is there's actually two ways that you can participate. And option one is you hit the download link down below that has the red cinematic footage. This is all the footage that we shot on our red Komodo. You're gonna be getting all basically the select raw moments and you get to try your hand at editing a 30 to 60 second commercial for our product uh, by using that footage in any way, shape or form. And then option two, if you wanna try your hand at more kind of the short form content, I feel like now more than ever with reels and TikToks and shorts, you know, making social content is just as viable as using this cinematic footage as we found. So if you're more kind of in that lane as a filmmaker and want to try your hand at creating a nine by 16 video, um, using this short form kind of uh, phone videos and stuff, you can do that as well. So there's two ways to participate. You can actually participate in both and have two entries. You can do just one or just the other. There's no advantage to doing one or the other. We're just giving you as a filmmaker two options to participate in this editing content. So rule number one is depending on which direction you go, you must use the footage inside of those folders. So if you go the cinematic route, you are only working with that red footage. And if you go the short form film kind of phone video content, you must use those clips. And let me kind of preface, you don't have to use all of those clips. We're not like looking to see if every shot was used. We just want you to be using those clips, like no outside shots. The only exception is if you use any shots in either of these folders that has a green screen, we do encourage you to composite whatever you want. So obviously if you wanted to put like a star field or a VFX, like that's totally encouraged, but we just don't want to see like additional shots. Like you can't go out and create additional shots and work them in. It must be from one of these two folders, depending on how you're participating. Rule number two is you must include up to three of these five specs that you're seeing on screen. This can be an on-screen graphic. This could be a voiceover. We just want to see you implement three of these five key specs. Mind you, you can use all five. You can use just three. We just want to see at least three. So it's up to you on how many you want to include and which ones you include. Like I said, this is an editing contest for an official commercial that we're gonna use on our landing page. And if you've seen any commercial, obviously it lists kind of the key specs. So we kind of want to throw this rule in there. So you're kind of creatively interpreting how you want to implement which of these three key specs and how you want to implement them. Um, but you will be disqualified, unfortunately, if this rule is not met. This is basically an equalizer. Like every submission must follow this rule. So how you creatively approach and tackle this rule will also be how you're judged as well. Mm -hmm. 
Rule number three is the length. We are looking for a 30 to 60 second commercial in our editing contest. So if you go the more cinematic route or the nine by 16 phone route, both entries must be at least 30 seconds and no longer than 60 seconds. Rule number four is you must use copyright free music. So if you have an Artlist subscription, a Musicbed subscription, whatever route you're going, the music or sound effects that you're using, which we do encourage you to use, uh, must be royalty free. So we don't wanna hear Hans Zimmer's Interstellar soundtrack. It must be music that is royalty free. Because like I said, this is going to be, you know, the winner of these will be the official commercial for us, right? So your video is gonna live at the top of the landing page. It's probably gonna be run as some sort of social media ad. Like your commercial is gonna be everywhere. And if you're using copyrighted music, unfortunately, we would just not be able to uh, consider your submission. So please use royalty-free music and sound effects in your edit. All right, rule number five, and arguably the most important, it's how you're gonna submit your editing submission. Once you've finished with your edit, obviously we, our team, needs to view it. So once you're finished, either with the kind of Komodo cinematic route or the short form content phone video route, however you decided to participate, you're gonna export your video and you're gonna upload it to YouTube. Once it's on YouTube, you need to have this title. This title allows our team to discover it and it also just allows it to be kind of uh, just, it makes it very easy for our team to understand what the submission is for. So follow this title and naming guideline, pretty straightforward. And once your video is uploaded on YouTube with this title, go ahead and copy the URL of this YouTube link and email it to this email. This email is our team's way of basically just looking at all the submissions. So please follow this rule very specifically, um, because if you don't follow this, and then we just unfortunately have to disqualify you because we can't see your submission. And the second part of the submission is actually posting to your Instagram. This being an editing contest, and more specifically a commercial for our brand, we wanna see your hand at trying to share it with your audience. So once you've taken your final video and you've already uploaded to YouTube and emailed us that URL, go ahead and upload that 16 by nine or that nine by 16, however you participated, to your Instagram. And these submissions must be done by August 1st. That is when this contest is officially over and then it'll turn over to us judging your submission. So please know that you have between now, the time of you viewing this video and August 1st at 11.59 p.m. like basically the end of August 1st is the final cutoff for this editing contest. And the last rule, and it's obviously pretty self-explanatory, you must be an onset pass member to participate. Like I said, this is a contest that we're doing to engage and have our community participate in. And if it was just open to everybody, it kind of devalues what we're trying to build here at Onset Pass. So please make sure you are an active member. If you're watching this on Instagram or YouTube and you're seeing this and maybe want to become an Onset Pass member, great. Just at the time of submission and the time that we're reviewing your film, you must be an active member because should you actually score or win this contest and we look and you're not subscribed, unfortunately you are disqualified because this is an Onset Pass editing contest. Now that the rules are aside, I wanna let you know how we're gonna be judging your submission. Uh, we have a team of people and on this editing contest, we're bringing in a bunch of post-production judges, editors, colorists, people who work in post-production, who have their finger on the pulse of what makes a good edit, right? And like I said, you can use one clip, five clips, two clips, all the clips, However you try, uh, decide to edit it, that is up to you. And I'm just kind of including this section of the video to let you know what our team is looking for. Number one, we are looking for a hook. I feel like now more than ever, you know, on social media, ads that maybe you see on Instagram, the first five seconds is arguably the most important part of a commercial. And this being an editing contest for a commercial, for our solid state drive, 
we want to see your hand at trying a hook. This could be the first five seconds are really quickly cut. The first five seconds could be a hook, a VO. We want to be captured in the first five seconds of your edit. However you creatively decide to hook us, we are going to be judging on how strong you're hooking. Kind of the edit criteria number two, which you'll be judged on, is the overall production value, the level of finesse. Does it feel like something that was just kind of thrown together with some black frames and sort of glitches, or does it feel polished? Like we want to get a sense that you put some effort into this and that you have really imbued your edit with your personality and your creative instincts. Like we want to see you in your edit and we're going to be judging on like how much that comes across. Um, so I mean, all to say, basically the production value is kind of editing criteria number two, like how polished does it feel? Number three, and I think you're gonna have the most fun with this is the creativity. Everyone is getting the same rules. Everyone's getting the same download folders. What's gonna be fun is what you bring to the table. Like, how do you see this footage on a timeline? Like, we wanna see your creativity and something that makes us, as the judging panel, be like, wow, I literally would have never thought about that. Or, oh my gosh, I've never seen, out of all these submissions, someone try it like this. We wanna see you think outside the box and creativity is a big part of how we're judging these submissions. And the last kind of judging criteria that we're gonna be scoring your edit submission on is shareability. Like how shareable is your piece of content or your edit? And I feel like you kind of touch on that, you know, so much of what we consume on our phones, on YouTube, on Instagram or TikTok is content that we're sharing with friends or DMing like, hey, have you seen this? This thing's crazy. Like that's how things get around. And it being 2023, and like, I feel like that's the world we live in. We're gonna be judging your edit submission or your commercial on how shareable it is. And though that seems a bit vague, if you follow the other criteria, you're creative, you have a good hook, then you're probably gonna score very well in the shareability. Basically to kind of distill it further, at the end of your edit, if I feel the urge to send this to somebody because I'm impressed or blown away or I find it super creative, then you're gonna score well in the uh, shareability section. So everything I touched on from the hook, the creativity, the implementation of the rules, and basically the shareability are all gonna play a part into how your edit submission is judged by our panel of judges. So now for the part that I'm sure a lot of you are excited about, which is the prizes. Like I said, there's two ways to participate. So these prizes will apply to both uh, ways. To submit. Uh, and just know if you decide to participate in both, you are eligible to win prizes in both sections. And the prizes are this for both ways of entry. This is what the first prize winner will receive. And these prizes and how the winners are picked are all based off of the judging criteria I touched on earlier. So please, if you were to take anything away from this video, please watch how we're judging your submissions because I don't want you to feel like this is arbitrary or we just randomly pick a winner. Like there is a score sheet, one through 10. And if you score, you know, tens, that's obviously what gives you a higher score. And obviously our judging panel independently scores each of your submissions based off of those criteria I touched on. And if you can, please watch this video more than once. There is so much information in this video from the official rules, the judging criteria, how you're gonna submit your you know, submission. So, uh, and I guess really to get you started, if you scroll down past this video, you're gonna see basically two different thumbnails and the thumbnails are gonna represent the two ways you can participate. And under the sort of cinematic Komodo footage route, it's gonna list what clips are included, you know, how many clips and the file size and a download button. And then that's the way to download that folder. You're gonna be working with those files. And then to recap, if you decide to go more of the short form, kind of real nine by 16 phone video route, there's gonna be a different icon, which tells you kind of how many clips, the file size, and you just hit download and then you're working off of those uh, files. So depending on how you wanna participate and which direction you wanna go, all you need to do is scroll down past this video and you're gonna see 
two different download buttons for the two different ways you can participate in this editing contest. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up.